Hi, Pre-K Pink. It's Miss Jade. I'm here. I'm going to read a book to you guys. I want you all to know that I miss you and I hope everyone's doing well. Um, but I know you're enjoying your time with your mommies and your daddies. Okay, who remembers this book? Don't Wake Up the Tiger. Let's talk about the parts of the book. Who remembers what this is called? This is the front cover. This is the back cover. This is the title. And this is the, the person that wrote the words is called the author. Let's get into the book. to sleep and we shouldn't wake her. But she's in the way. Whatever will the other animals do? They're in a hurry and they've got a big bunch of balloons to carry too. Oh dear, how will they get past without waking her up? Look, they're trying to get past the tiger without waking her up. See all the animals and what are they holding? Balloons. They have a blue balloon, red balloon, yellow balloon, and a green balloon. Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over Tiger. Can you help make sure Tiger stays asleep? Swoosh. Let's pet her nose. That always works. Ready? Be very quiet. Oh, good. Tiger is still sound asleep. Now it's Fox's turn. But look, Fox is too heavy for his balloon. And the balloon is dropping lower and lower. Blow as hard as you can. Let's see, did it work? Fox made it across. Good job, friends. It's Tortoise's turn now. He's looking a bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet Tiger's tummy. There, nice and gentle. This will help her sleep. Pet Tiger's tummy. Let's see if that works. Yay, Turtus got across. He's, he couldn't have done it without you. But now it's Mouse's turn and she's shaking so much that she let go, she lets go of her balloon. She's shaking. Why do you think she's shaking? Because she's afraid of waking the tiger up. Oh no, she's falling right onto Tiger's head. Quick, let's sing a lullaby. And can you rock the book too? Everyone knows tigers love to be rocked to sleep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Let's see if that works. Whew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over tiger with her long legs. But be careful, Stork. Watch out for the balloon. So Stork is using his long legs to step over Tiger. Let's see what happens. You ready? Pop! What happened? Oh no! Oh dear, Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, Tiger. Can you wish Tiger a happy birthday too? The end. I know you guys love this book when we were in the classroom, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye.